see in the last class we know that one definition of the lines and angles but i will move through definitions with examples okay in the last class see collinear points we know what is that collinear point if three or more points lie on the same line are called as a collinear points okay next the sum of two angles are equal to 90 degree is called complementary angles okay next the sum of two angles is equal to 180 degree means we can call it as a supplementary angles okay next linear pair of angles what is linear pair of angles a ray stands on a line then the sum of four two adjacent angles is equal to 180 degree is called as a linear pair angles see by using this concept we discuss very important problems in this chapter okay first one see if the question they will ask like this see by using this one we can find this is the first question see find beo where is beo b c beo this angle beo and reflex angle coe coe see this is the reflex angle of coe find these two angles given what is the given given things is aoc angle aoc plus angle boe equals 70 degree this is the given things we know that angle aoc plus coe plus eob equals 180 degree okay because it is a straight line straight line it will makes 180 degree then sum of these two angles is 70 degree then we have to write angle coe then equals 180 degree then coe is equal to 180 minus 70 degree means 110 degree we got 110 degree but reflex angle we have to know reflex angle this is 110 degree 110 degree but we want reflex angle then reflex angle equals see reflex angle equals coe equals 360 minus coe then we get 250 how much 250 is the reflex angle coe yes next problem see it is very important in the figure 3.23 we can write this is the figure 3.24 in the figure 3.24 if pq is parallel to rs they are given angle m m x q equals 135 and angle m y m y r equals 40 degree then find the angle x m y x m y we have to find the x m y okay where is c x m y this angle we're going to find this before going to find this angle first we have to make here see that we can draw a line like this this is the construction we can say it. this is construction this line we can, we can say that is a b a b is parallel to the p q see solution draw a line a b is parallel to the p q through point m m is point the, this is the point m now ab is parallel to the pq pq is parallel to the rs ab ab is parallel to the pq pq is parallel to the rs then we can say ab is also parallel ab is also parallel to the rs by using this concept we can find angle qxm plus angle xmb is equal to 180 degree interior angle on the same side of the transversal line which is the transversal line xm yes this is the transversal line xm then sum of these two angles is equal to how much 180 degree then substitute this value we get angle xmb equals 45 degree this is 45 degree we got here 45 degree next concept again see that if it is 45 degree means then we can write the angle bmy equals angle myr ab is parallel to rs this is alternate angles alternate angle if it is alternate angle means we got it is 40 degree is there means this is also 40 degree correct this is also 40 degree if it is these two alternate angles then we got sum of those two angles that is we can take it is equation number of this is equation number two means sum of those two angles 
we can get 85. This is called as a angle x m y this this angle the total is how much 85 degree we can find like this it is very easy to solve by using construction if you do like this construction maybe then we get the answer very quick okay next one in a figure a this is the figure a a b is parallel a b is parallel to this cd angle a p q see they are given 50 degree a q this is 50 degree then P R D then this is given that is 127 degree find the angle X angle X and find the angle Y this is the angle Y first by using given things we can find it Y is equal to we can write 77 degree why see these two angles are see uh, some of these two angles this one and angle this one both two angles is equal to the they are equal. Why it is equal means alternate angles. If they are alternate angles, 50 plus y equals 127. y is equal to 127 minus 50. Then subtract, we got y is equal to 77 degree. Next, like that only, another one we get the alternate angles. Angle APQ equals PQR. Why it is alternate angles. If alternate angles, those alternate angles are equal. See, this is the angle. These two angles are equal that is x is equal to 50 degree see another one important problem a b is parallel see a b is parallel to the d this is parallel to the d we can write this is parallel to the d and angle a angle is given that is 35 and angle d is given this is 53 find the angle d c e d c e this is the angle we have to find this angle first a b is parallel to the d and a e is a see it is called this is a e is a transversal line if it is transversal line means we can say these two angles are equal because alternate angles that is 35 degree in a triangles c d e c d e the sum of three angles is equal to the 180 degree then we know two angles 53 degree and 35 degree and angle DC equals 180 degree. By using uh, the sum of these two angles and subtract 180 degree, we get 92 degree. Then we can find like this very quickly. Next one. Figure B. This is the figure B. In this figure, side QP, QP and RQ of triangle POR are produced to points s and t respectively if angle p s p r equals 135 degree and p q t is equal to 110 degree find the angle p r q we have to find the angle this one r angle see by given things we can write angle these two angles are equal to 180 degree why because it is a linear pair angle if you know 135 degree then minus it linear pair is sum is equal to the 180 degree always then we get q p r is equal to 45 degree if it is 45 degree means again uh, same like that only angle p q t plus q p r is equal to 180 degree linear pair angle by q p t we know 110 degree if it is 110 degree means angle q p r equals 70 degree then sum of those two angles see by using those angles sum then we get here angle p r q is equal to 65 degree see some uh, sum of this one one 115 degree minus 180 minus 115 means 65 degree we can find very quickly like this okay okay i will move to next chapter these are the very important points in this chapter but i will take the next chapter that is called polynomials next chapter this is in this chapter they will ask you for one mass what is that write the degree of the polynomial write the degree of the polynomial or find the degree of the polynomial if it is degree of the polynomial means we have to check the power of the variable here highest power is called as a degree of the polynomial see x to the x square x to the power of 5 plus 2x plus 20 is there see 5 is there no the degree of the polynomial is 5 next 
second equation 2 minus y square minus y cube plus 2 y to the power of 8 then highest degree is 8 is there the degree of the polynomial is 8 for one must they will ask like this next one value of the polynomial find the value of the polynomial they will give like this also see p of x equals 5x square minus 3x plus 7 at x is equal to 1 put the x value 1 in this polynomial then we get see p of 1 is equal to 9 another one is that p of x is equal to x 6x square minus 2x minus 10 at x equals minus 1 where is x is there we have to put minus 1 value then 1 square means 1 will get minus into minus plus the plus 2 will come minus 10 the as this two term then minus 10 we can get minus 2 is the answer like this we can find the value of the value of the polynomial if it is a value of the polynomial we get a zero here then we can say that is the zero of the polynomial if it is zero means then we get zero of the polynomial yes sometimes they will ask find the value of k like this find the value of k if x minus 1 is the factor of 4x cube x cube plus 3x square minus 4x plus k see how we have to solve this one x minus 1 is the factor means p of x is equal to 0 then I will take p of x is equal to given equation then p of 1 equals 4 1 cube plus 3 1 whole square minus 4 of 1 plus k then see it is 0 1 cube means 1 only 1 into 4 is of 4 then 3 will get minus 4 k see plus 4 and minus 4 get cancelled then k is equal to minus 3 is the answer see like this they will ask to find the value of k or value of c i like that okay see another one in this chapter very important question what is that means find the remainder obtained by div dividing the equation or division method we can say it division method see i will show it one, one very important one then how we have to divide this one okay let me start find the remainder obtained by the divide see i will take 3x to the power of 4 minus 4x cube minus 3x minus 1 here see x to the power of 4 is there we can take here x is there but what is the coefficient of x 3 3x square we have to multiply 3x square 3x square into x what will get 3x to the power of 4 minus 3x cube then first term will get cancelled here minus 4x cube plus 3x cube we get minus x cube minus x cube and minus 3x minus 1 okay if here minus x cube is there that's why we have to multiply minus x square minus plus into minus minus x square into x a minus x cube plus min, minus into minus plus x square okay minus x square minus will come minus into minus plus see first term get cancelled then what is remaining both are minus we can write here see minus is there then here also minus we get see the x cube minus this is minus x square minus 3x minus 1 it is the remaining things see i will continue this division here what is remaining minus x x square minus 3x minus 1 if it is a minus is there that's why what we have to do we can multiply this one minus x minus x minus minus x into x minus x square minus into minus plus x into 1 1 x then see the plus will get here minus first term get cancelled both are minus is there we can take minus 4 x minus 1 we got here this one see coefficient is minus 4 is there 
that's why you have to take minus 4 minus 4 into x minus 4 minus 4x minus into minus plus 4 then say plus minus first term get cancel both are minus is the minus 5 this is the remainder therefore we can write r of x equals remainder of x equals minus 5 see this is the answer see like this they will ask 3 mass 3 or it may be 2 mass sometimes they will ask if it is the length the division is so much is there means they will ask 3 mass it is small one then they will give 2 mass okay see it is very important questions see i will move to in this chapter i will move to next concept in the next class okay thank you if you like this video please share and subscribe thank you one and all